Take a rip from the bong While you sample this song Jim Morrison comes knocking at my door He's looking for some weed, he's trying to score Coca-Cola and a coffee in my hands Gonna Morrison here, I have different plans I say hey, hey, hey Don't often do this too much, especially sober, but I thought I'd make a video, and it's too cold to go to the train tracks, and it probably will be until next spring, so there's that. <laughs> um, oh, and the obvious, I dyed my hair. It's not supposed to be black, it's supposed to be like a really dark brown, but I left it in almost a half hour too long, um, but it should fade to brown one day. I think it'll go lighter, but I'm happy that it covered the 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 colors because my dad had a really light brown yesterday and he was using it for his gray and he only has a little bit of hair so i used the rest for my hair and it just basically muted the pinks and the, it took the purple out completely it muted the pink and then it, it muted the the green it, like it made it all lighter so it's like oh if i brought by a brown dye it should go over and i could have probably bought a lighter brown dye but I didn't want to have to like buy another dye and wait because I've been dyeing my hair too much. So I didn't, yeah, I just didn't want to screw it up. I'm like, whatever, I'll go darker. It'll eventually fade and that'll be that. So yeah, it was just really unhealthy from bleach. I over bleached it, not the last time, but the time before that. Because I bleached it twice and I shouldn't have did that. Like, because I had bleach left over and I'm like, oh, I'll just make it really blonde. So the color sticks really good. And I knew it was an idiot move. And it was. So it was pretty damaged after that and then I left it for a couple months and I did some treatments on it and um, it felt fine and then I bleached it again and that's what it really screwed it up. It would wake up and it would just be like all knotted at the back and it felt like like it went curly but frizzy but like it felt really bad. So hopefully this gives me a chance to start over and grow it out and um, have it be healthier. I'm not saying that I won't go back to colors because I probably will one day it's just really fun thing to do but after doing it for like I think it was over a year um it just got kind of annoying of like not I, I, I would always wash my hair in cold water like even if I was taking a shower I'd use the the faucet like when you take a bath and then I'd wash my hair under cold water condition it with cold water and then I'd take a hot shower but I wouldn't like let my head get wet and then when I took baths I was never able to like soak my head in the bath like I, I can with this color hair so that's going to be nice to be able to actually like take showers and have my head in the hot water and not have to wash in cold water all the time so that's one of the pluses and it does fade um but the colors i was buying i wasn't even buying punky colors or manic it was splat and it actually was really vibrant it did last a long time and maybe that was because i was washing it in cold water compared to the, when i was younger and i washed it like every day and i used hot water so that's why it would fade so fast but um, it was just getting annoying because then the roots do grow in, so I'd have to re-dye the roots, and then usually I'd want to go a new color or a different like way of doing the colors, and it's just going to be nice to have like simple hair for a little bit and just let it grow out and not focus on the color aspect of it. Um, I didn't necessarily want to go black, but whatever. What can you do? So I'm happy about that, and that's one of the changes. Um, and, oh yeah, we'll be building the fort next spring. I'm super excited for that. I also cut down a lot on weed. I mostly just smoke before bed now. Or if, I, if I'm with friends, I'll have a hoot with them here and there. But I don't really hang out with people that much. When I do make plans, I usually cancel. Um, but um, I used to smoke when I was drinking. But I'm trying to cut down drinking a lot. Like, I want to stop for a while for a little bit, like a couple weeks or something, and then just do it maybe like on the weekends here and there, or on special occasions or something, but I have an addictive personality, and I've done this before, I've done this with like benzodiazepines, I've done it with, um, even with just uh, like Nitol, and I know there's other names for those too, but they're just basically like sleeping pills that you can buy at the pharmacy, you don't have to get a prescription for them, and yeah, I did those for a couple months, I used to do it with NyQuil, Benadryl, um, and then, like I said, benzos, where it was like Seroquel and Diazepam, Lorazepam, Clorazepam, and like all those kind of different sleeping pills and tra tranquilizers and bipolar mood stabilizers. I just get them from people. Like back in the day, like there's 
a lot of people that would sell their prescriptions for like a pack of cigarettes. Well, not even a pack, like five cigarettes. So I'd give them five cigarettes and I'd get a bun of pills. And then I did that for a couple months and I realized how that was fucking me up and how if I kept doing it, I'd probably be in a worse situation. So I stopped that. And um, I know I, I was drinking for a lot longer than a couple months. It wasn't every day. And I never woke up and drank. Like, I think those were my excuses to myself. It's like, I'm not an alcoholic because I don't wake up and drink. I only drink at night. And I always eat when I drink. And, like, those were my excuses to, to say that I was in control. But for me, it's more boredom. And, like I said, the addiction, addictive personality. I like to just keep doing something if I like it. Like, I think some people are like that with food and with other things. Like, I think coffee, even a lot of people do that. I can do that with coffee. Like, there's, there, before I was drinking, I used to drink, like, five to six cups of coffee a day. I think that's one of the things, too. I'd say, it's like, oh, it helped me cut down on my coffee. It's like, okay, Ashley. So, yeah, that's, like, one change I'll have to make. Because then it just started affecting me. It's like, I couldn't go to the train tracks unless I was drinking. And before, I used to be able to go to the train tracks all the time just for a walk if I wanted to get out. So it was nice exercise, and you get outside into the fresh air and into the sun, and I'd do my photo shoots. So, yeah, it kind of blocked me in those ways. And then I wouldn't do lives for, like, YouTube. I wouldn't be able to do those um, if I wasn't drinking and hangouts if I wasn't drinking. And I, it used to be like that with weed, and which is really... I guess it's the only thing I can thank alcohol for. It helped to um, help me cut down on weed because not for everyone, but for me personally, weed drags me down. It makes me very... Um, like, I'm not stoned right now. I usually don't talk like this when I'm stoned. I'm very... I'm not all over the place. I'm just, like, kind of... Uh, not as much personality. It really it really zones me out, I guess you can say. I don't know if it's because I'm a Pisces and I'm already a dreamer. So weed, for me, just, like, connects with that part and it just, like, doubles it or, or whatever, however you want to say it. So, yeah, whenever I smoke weed, I just get really deep into thought and I'm really lazy and I'm unmotivated. And I really, I, I knew I hated that feeling, like, when I was younger and stuff during the day, but I was just so used to weed that it's what I did before I took a bus or before I went to a movie or before I went for an interview or before I went to work, right after work, during work. Like, I'd have to be stoned all the time, and I wanted to be stoned all the time. And then when I um, started drinking more, even when I wasn't drinking, I just didn't like weed as much. It started to give me anxiety, and I think that is from the alcohol what I think I'm not sure on that like who knows like I don't even think all doctors and scientists really know how a brain totally fucking works I think they have the ideas of it but everyone's different and with all the changes in the universe and the drugs and the chemicals and da 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 like I think it's just it's constant constantly learning how like people's brains work and react and all that kind of stuff and um yeah so I think that that's like the only thing good that I got from it. And now I know how to drink, I guess, because I was always, always hated drinking before. And I never thought, I never understood how people could drink every day or become an alcoholic or any of that stuff. And now I could kind of see how that could happen. I don't think I'd ever let myself get to that point. Like, but there is a difference. There's like functioning alcoholics and then there's really bad ones. And but it's not good to be either of them. But I think if you can handle it and you can be responsible about it, then it's fine, which is what I used to be able to do. And now that I can do it with weed, I want to turn that over and do that with alcohol as well. So I think that'll be really fun. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I should have wrote stuff down because I probably could have said more stuff. But, oh, I want to start doing stuff in my channel, like coming up with skits and comedies and things to talk about and like maybe do some really cool like editing things like figure out my editor that I have and like try to figure out how best to work with that and like create some cool content maybe find some people to collab with um, other channels to help out and do all that kind of stuff I think that would be really fun um, if I think of anything else I can always film again so I love you guys if you have any questions or comments or you want to know anything you could leave it in down there like you know, in the comments, or I'm on Twitter, Loner Morrison, Instagram is Ashley Brooke Morrison, um, Facebook, I'm just Ashley Brooke, and then, yeah, or on here, or Google Plus, Loner Morrison, and then, yeah, that's it.
communicate. I love to talk. I love to help people. If you're going through anything and you don't know who to talk to, I'm probably a stranger. You can talk to me. I won't judge you. So yeah, um, I love you all, and I hope everyone has a great week. It's the weekend soon, so yay! <laughs> I say hey, hey, hey.